Mid this month, the European Parliament passed an advisory resolution seeking to compel Uganda, Tanzania, and Total Energies SE, the main shareholder, to delay development of the proposed East African crude oil pipeline ECOP for at least one year. The Brussels-based parliament wanted the parties to choose an alternative route with less environmental damage to construct the 14 trillion shillings pipeline project. President Museveni, who addressed the 7th Uganda International Summit on Oil and Gas, reacted to this resolution, describing the MPs in Brussels as intolerable and ignorant. Now, for the European Union, some of these people are insufferable. You need to control yourself, not to explode. So shallow, so egocentric, so wrong, but they think they know everything, broadcast their ignorance all over the place. This is a, a wrong battleground for them. We, we don't take kindly to arrogance. Ostensibly, in light of the final investment decision undertaking, the president allayed any fears that the EU parliament decision could impede the 2015 deadline for commercial oil production. The plan will be implemented according to schedule. And I hope our partners join us firmly and, <clears throat> and advise those. When you go to this parliament, these are just young girls, member of parliament. Eh? You, know. <laughs> you, you are lecturing me how, what to do in Uganda, you young girl. On the Western-led green energy campaign, the president said, The one who has done most damage, you start. I am also coming, but you start. But that transition cannot take place at the same time because we are not departing from the same point. While Uganda is trying to look for a passport, some countries already have their boarding passes. Minister of Energy and Mineral Development Ruth Nankabirwa invited more oil companies to apply for licenses in the third round of the first production. Uganda is believed to have proven crude oil reserves of 6.5 billion barrels, about 2.2 billion of which is recoverable. Edward Mhumza, NTV. Uh, Your Excellency, thank you very much.